Hello everyone, welcome to the course. So in the last lecture, we just installed the RESTful data services. I mean, we enabled the schema here for the RESTful services in Oracle Apex and we saw a sample employees uh, request and with this API, we were able to get the data by pasting it in the browser. But this is only very limited with a GET request. The browser has only that support. But to perform other operations like the post and other put request and the delete request, we need some different environment that will be uh, working in all ways. For that, we have the CRL with the command line. And for a very interactive way, we have the postman to perform the various requests. And you can add the headers and lots of authorizations can be added because this API will not be you know will be protected and it has to be secure so we need to use a different environment that acts as the client so for that we have the postman software and as you can see to access the rest client and going to the postman downloads you can see that there are two ways of using it one is the native desktop app and even on the web if you don't want to you know or if you want to save a space you can use the postman web version or if you want to experience the complete uh, features, you can use the native app. So if you want, I have used, installed the native app. It's just a simple step. It's very simple, easy, and you can configure it however you want with the themes and everything. And you can set up your account as well. So here I will paste the URL which we have used in the last lecture. So I'll be pasting and clicking on send. And there is no authorization here configured so we'll be getting the response here and as you can see status is 200 that means it's success and other the time how much response time it took and you can get the json format in a beautiful way and there are various options in the software also you can get in the form of xml or html or text or anything and even you can see the format in the form of raw and the pretty is what you can see in a beautiful way with lines and formatted in a pretty json format and if you want to see in the form of a browser environment you can use this preview this will parse the html and css and render it in a browser way so this is a very good software and it's freely available mostly it will be using for the apis and it access the front end for them so we'll be using this more and in the next lecture we'll explain about the odds and the other stuffs under it so we'll see that